So as we can see with this question, we're provided with quite a bit of visual uh, data. So I'm gonna call this a diagram question. So we have this graph here that looks like it's sunflower height, right? So height in the y-axis over time in days on the x-axis. We also have this table here, sunflower growth, um, which looks like it's the, the exact same. Yeah, so it's just a table representation, right? So at zero days, we're at zero height. At day seven, day seven, we're at 17.93, which is here. And again, that, that is actually pretty helpful because otherwise this point looks like it's at 20, but obviously it's a little lower than 20 and I just can't tell. So, you know, this information is the same. It's just represented in two different ways. So question 12 says, over which of the following time periods is the average growth rate of the sunflower the least? Okay, so, you know, we can definitely look at the graph, I think is a better visual representation for that. But you could say the table as well. And we're saying, well, where do we have a, a growth rate that's the least? Well, you know, it looks like it's pretty much doubling from seven to 14, a little bit more than double. In the same, we can go on and kind of look at that. But I'm gonna say it's best here to look at the answer choices because we have a lot of different ranges of time here. But the answer choices will direct us to exactly where to look. So let me just get rid of all these extra marks. So day zero to day 21. So zero to 21, here to here, we go from zero all the way up to 67.66. So um, I'd say that that is, if we're looking at a rate, it's like 67.6 divided by 21 days, right? And we could get our calculator out and figure out exactly what that is. Or we can just keep going, which I'm going to do to see if there's a way to compare it with just a 21. So day 21 to 42, that looks like that's also going to have 21 day time period as my denominator. But day 21 starts at 67.6. Day 42 goes up to 169.5. Even without grabbing my calculator, I can see that's over 100, right? So 100, let's say 102. So that's going to be, a, 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 um, that's going to be, the higher growth rate, so I should cross B out, right? Choice A is lower. Again, we're looking for we're looking for the least, right? Over which of the following time periods is the average growth rate of the sunflower least? So B is higher than A, so that's why B is crossed out. How about choice C? Choice C is day 42 to day 63. So that again is also over 21 days. And that goes from 42 to 63 is 169 to 247. Um, so again, if I round this to like 170 and round that to 247, that's gonna be uh, 77. And again, we can use a calculator and I probably should use a calculator. Um, I don't like to do mental math on this section. So, you know, I can figure out that that's going to be higher still than this 67.6. So that's out. And then choice D, choice D is 63 to 84. So 63 to 84. Oh, that's very small, right? 247 to 254. Um, that's only like seven out of the 21. So that's going to be our answer, choice D. Okay. Now you obviously could have also used the graph, and I think the graph in this case may have been simpler to see, because uh, day 63 to 84, here to here, we can see that the slope is pretty flat, versus everywhere else is pretty steep. Okay. So if you did that, you probably would get to the answer a bit faster.